Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another Time Warp Custom Paints late night paint night, Thursday night. Today, we're going to be going over the uh, Avante airbrush. You guys asked for it. I went and got it. We're going to check it out. I haven't used it yet, but um, I kind of took a peek at it a little bit. I couldn't help myself. And uh, let's see here. Basically, let's take a look at this thing real quick. Let's read some of the instructions, some of the specs here. Uh, 0.3 ounce cup. Looks like it's a 0.3 millimeter tip. That's very important. Um, I like the 0.3 millimeter. I can also go for a 0.5 as well. I kind of like those as well because puts out a little more paint, um, especially when you're trying to block things in. Uh, fluid. Uh, flow control knob. You don't really use that too much. At least I don't. Uh, it looks like it has an easy removal cap. Uh, working pressure 15 to 30 psi. Sounds about right. And it seems like it's going to work with any like conventional airbrush hose. So, oh, and obviously double action is what we're looking for. Push down, pull back. So let's check it out. <clears throat> Swampy gave you a five dollar super chat. Oh, what up, Swampy? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. That should do it right there. Okay, let's check this thing out. All right, looks like it comes with some tools, a couple of wrenches. That's nice. And yeah, overall. Seems pretty nice. I noticed when I did push the button down, uh, unlike an Iwata, if you push the button down, it does spring back up. You see how I kind of have to pull it back up. Um, that may um, that may fix itself once we got some air pressure going to it. So I'm guessing that'll pop up once it has a little bit of air. But uh, yeah, a couple of tools. That's about it. That's all that comes with it. Darren just gave you a ten dollar super chat. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Thanks, Darren. Appreciate that. All right, once, you, once again, you guys just jumping in. We'll be reviewing the Harbor Freight Avante airbrush. And we'll be doing some, like, uh, neon style. I don't even know. We'll see. Hopefully something works out here. Um, kind of pressed for time. But we hopefully we can make something cool and it works out. But, yeah, we'll definitely be giving this uh, baby a run for its money, uh, doing a few things on this. But now we're talking about that. Let's go ahead and we'll just go over what I'll be doing. So I have this, I cut out of, uh, just the, you know, stencil vinyl. Um, what I did is I printed out, do I have that over there somewhere? Let me show oh, yeah, right here. So I printed out, uh, a, a picture I saw that said neon and it looked kind of like a neon light, just printed out on regular paper. I put pencil on the back. And then I transferred it onto the uh, vinyl and then I cut it out. So that's basically how I transferred it. And then I cut it out, weeded it out, and that's how I got that. Um, I could have sent it to my Cricut cutter, but I was just doing one of them. And it was real quick just to do that. So that's what I did. So I scuffed this down with the 600 grit. These are just the Limeline display practice panels. This one's in white, so that way we don't have to base coat this or anything. That's just the white plastic. I'll take some glass cleaner. <laughs> Wipe this thing down. There we go. Okay. So my plan was I saw a junk on there. There too. My plan is to put that right here. Seems like that's gonna work. So we'll just lay that right there. The two inch masking from Limeline, it, it is um, somewhat semi-transparent. So the nice thing is we just 
take a piece of that. Lay it out, and you can see that you can still uh, see the uh, the vinyl underneath. So when you go to apply it, which we're going to do here in just a second, you'll still be able to see to get it straight. Okay, we're going to apply that directly to the white hood panel we have here that's just been scuffed with 600 grit. A little wrinkle. Push that out. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be using some neon colors, kind of making a, uh, a neon light kind of effect, hopefully. Like I said, hopefully this turns out. Um, I've done it a couple of times, but not really in this method. And definitely not with that airbrush. So we'll kind of see how it goes. E. Brown said, I've never used latex gloves when painting. It's a challenge. Laugh out loud. Yeah, it's uh, not easy. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I did look online and I found like a couple of designs that I thought would work out. So I'm going to kind of do what I've kind of have in my mind, really. Um, first things first, I'm going to lay out the center line. Pretty close right there. And then uh, I kind of want to make like a, I don't know, there's probably a name for it, like an effect to where it looks 3D, to where it kind of looks like where it's, uh, you're looking down kind of like a little bit of a tunnel here. Um, and this will also kind of be done in the same kind of style of the neon light kind of thing. So I'm just kind of, hopefully this works out. But we're going to do, we're going to eyeball about a half an inch right there. We're going down about that far, and then I'm just going to just tweak it out about that far. So you can see right there, it's kind of curved the tape. Go ahead and do the same thing. Did right you here. mention how much that gun was at Harbor Freight? Someone's asking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, how much was that? Th 30 was bucks? 25, I want to say. 25 bucks. I think what tax <clears throat> ended up being like 30 bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> Like I said, I haven't used it yet, but we're about to break that thing open. So about the same distance. Let's go ahead and let's try that again. Actually, I'm a little too far on that. Let me do that. E. Brown said, I finally used your product. I'm ready for the helmet, <clears throat> Adam. Which helmet? E. Brown said that. Oh, I didn't I didn't hear the first part you said. He said, <clears throat> I'm I finally used your product. I'm ready for the helmet. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that too. Scott said, I'm having a hard time keeping the tape to stay on my corners. Yeah, uh, what I do on the corners is, like, if you're doing a sharp corner, you can always put a piece of masking tape to hold it down. So say, like, this is a really sharp corner. Um, also, taking the back of a razor blade and pressing it down will also help. I'm just trying to see. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm looking at I'm trying to get the same distance here and just hovering the tape on the top. 
bring it there and then Okay, so yeah, that looks like kind of falls back in place. This one, maybe I started that a little high. Let me let me redo that one. That's gonna drive me nuts. Since I already bent that, I'll go ahead and just add a new piece of tape. There, that's a little better. That'll work. What I'll do now is I'll just put a, maybe a line right across there. Make sure it looks straight. Uh, it looks straight. Let's try it again. Scott said, do you want it higher on the right? Yeah, it's probably not perfect. It looks like it is higher right there again. I don't know why I can't get that right. Let's see. A little better. Antonio said, hard for me to eyeball stuff. I use tape for my spacing. Yep, and you can do that for sure. E. Brown said, I bought your helmet off Limeline on Amazon. I'm ready to paint it. Well, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right on. I actually have two helmets. There's the mini helmet and then there's the... The cap helmet. The, the cap helmet, yeah. <clears throat> Josh said, have you tried the smart vinyl from Cricut that doesn't require the use of a cutting mat? I haven't used it. Um, yeah, I, I bet it works pretty good. But I don't. I don't mind using the cutting mat. But yeah, you can use the, you can buy their stuff and then they make it so it feeds right into the machine. Brown said he bought the cap. Oh, the cap? Cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. Okay. We'll actually lay out a couple more lines, maybe just right. Right here on these edges. One there. All right. Okay. These are all pressed down good. As far as design goes, um, that's kind of what we're going to stick with. Just that. Um, we're going to, uh, we're actually going to go down to, into the booth. So I'll take you down there. Um, I got some black base coat ready in a gun. And we're going to go ahead and spray this with a gun because we want to um, get this solid black besides what's underneath the paint, which would be the white plastic here. And then we'll uh, we'll airbrush from there. So, Whew. all right. Let's grab this guy, and I'll take them with me. Okay. See you when you come okay. Out. So we are in the 
paint booth here. So this is just a, sorry about the echo, but this is um, just built out a drywall, just like you would any kind of room. Um, and then I did install a 12 inch fan in that area right there. Um, I'll go into more detail about the fan, uh, maybe on another episode, but I get a lot of questions about the exhaust fan and how we deal with the fumes and stuff. Let me go kick that thing on. Um, I have the paint already in the gun and we'll go ahead and give this thing a couple of coats. Okay, the thing with base coats is you don't necessarily have to and you don't really want to saturate them too fast. You want you need to apply base coat in coats to where it builds up slowly um, and that, that way we're not oversaturating and then getting leakage underneath the tape and it causes a lot of other adhesion problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dust the coat on to start. Okay, that's just kind of the first coat that I'm putting on. I'm going to let that dry. Don't take very long, and then we'll go ahead and lay another coat on. It looks like we're almost at full coverage. I'm gonna let that flash off just for another couple of seconds. I went ahead and added just a little bit more reducer to make this mixture just a little thinner. Put one last coat on it. Okay. It's going to be tricky. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Welcome back. Got it. Whoa. A couple people noticed the gun. They said new gun, new spray gun. Is that a new gun? Yeah, this is going to be a new version. Uh, we'll still have the old one. This is going to be kind of like the pro version of a another gun. A little more higher end. Um, but yeah, that'll be coming out very soon. Along with those candies, we do have word on the candies that they'll be here uh, this weekend. Okay. Yeah, candies back will at be, it. Candies will be in our hands Saturday. Yep, Saturday, and we still got to do some. Still have a few shoes. things to do after that, but they're here. Yeah, I got a chunk of something <laughs> in it right there. You see that? Oh yeah. I'm gonna let that dry before I mess with it. But yeah, the gun must not have been all the way clean because I got a chunk right there, and then like one right there, and maybe that looks like it's pretty clean. Okay. Whew. All right. Next thing we're going to do is what, what am I going to do? <laughs> All right. Like I said, I haven't really done this. I'm going to go ahead and pull. You had a tape removal blade? I think I set one right up there. Right here. Gotcha. Got one. Okay. So we don't um, scuff the surface or scratch it or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and just pull this off with a, a tape removal blade. That way we're not cutting into the, the black paint. Hopefully we're all dry here. Someone, uh, Scott asked, said, what about the clear and the base coats? Yeah, the clear and base coats are going to be back in stock. Or the, well, the clear base coats, the clear base coat and the black is going to be back in stock at the same time. It's all in the same order. The only thing that's not going to be back in stock Monday will be the clear coat but that will be back in stock um, by the end of the week. What's the price is going to be for the candies? They, they want to know. Uh, candies are going to be, um, they're four ounce cans, concentrate. Uh, they're going to be uh, regular uh, MSRP, is that the right thing to say? <laughs> um, it's going to be 39 bucks uh, for a color, but you're going to be able to get them for probably uh, 10 to $12 cheaper than that when they first come out. I'll have coupons attached to them um, for the first couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be doing some giveaways. We'll be doing a lot of stuff, but yeah, definitely check it out because you're going to get the best prices because I'm just going to blow this stuff out um, to get it going. We've been waiting so long. Yeah, we're excited they're here. Yep. But it's the same candies that we've been using for, well, I've been using for a year now. And, uh, yeah, we like them. And we feel like we can deliver them at the right cost and kind of teach around them and show you how to use them. Creative Cuts Media asked, <clears throat> I get a few dry spit spots when I spray Autoborn sealer. What could I try to eliminate that? Hmm, Autoborn. I think that's Cretex. Uh, you might want to get with like the manufacturer on that. Uh, I'm not even sure because it is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is Waterborn. And I don't, I don't really know much about that. Sorry, yeah. I'm not even sure what would cause that. Scott's asking, will there be a package deal? Yes, there will. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good question. Um, you'll be able to get all of them for 99 bucks. Uh, you'll be able to get the red, the gold, and the blue um, for 99 bucks, And that will also be on sale. So expect that to be... Um, roughly about 20% off. So you're going to get that for like $75. You'll be able to set up, get set up with those primary colors, which you'll be able to do, you know, almost anything. Any color. You mix your orange, you can mix your purple, different shades by doing different mixtures. You can mix your, mix your root beer browns. 
I'll have the black candy. We'll have the base coat, clear base coat, like we talked about. And we'll have reducers, and we will also have uh, gun cleaners. Like a lacquer thinner. So far, so good on this peel, no problems. Larry just sent you a $20 super chat and said, <clears throat> thank you, Adam and Ash. Replacing a power steering pump, so we'll be in and out tonight. My apologies. Oh, man, thank you for that super chat. Yeah, thank you, and that does not sound fun. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be a transmission. Power steering is kind of still kind of right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and... Well, that's one of the things we'll fix. We can fix that anytime. No big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and... What do we got? I think that's something mixed up here. Whew. We got some pink. Um, now, this isn't candy paint. This is pigmented paint. We've been talking a lot about candies. Um, this is a, a pigmented bright pink and a pigmented bright purple. Basically, you can see the powder here. That's mixed with clear base coat and reduced with urethane reducer to make that mixture. Uh, mixed it about, it's mixed one scoop uh, per one ounce. Is that, is that what it is? I haven't mixed this in a minute. One scoop per one ounce. It says right there on the side. So you're going to take the scoop, scoop it in there. The scoop comes with it. Mix it with a clear base coat. Reduce it, and you're ready to go. So we already have those mixed up. Darren asked if the black candy is part of the package deal. Uh, the black candy will not be part of the, the package deal because it's it's one of those things that's really not necessary if you if you're using black base coat. But although black candy does make a difference as far as the final effect, it has a little bit more sparkle because it does have that transparency to it. All right. Should we do, maybe we'll do the neon in blue and we'll do these in the pink. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Alex. Okay. We'll go ahead and break out this airbrush. Alex sent you a $10 super chat and said, love the channel, keep up the great work, and thanks for bring us, bringing us along. You are very welcome. Thank thanks you for being for here. Oh, yeah, super chat. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw on um, one of these Quick Connects. <clears throat> These are the Limeline Quick Connects with a regulator hooked to it. Here we go. That will screw on like that. And then, as you can see, that this will hook to the hose. All the new people are telling what you're what oh yes uh so yeah the, the everybody that's came on board since then we are checking out the avanti harbor freight 24 24 25 dollar 30 dollars with tax airbrush double action uh 0.3 tip millimeter a knob for fluid adjustment not going to use that and then we do have a knob here for uh, the reduction of air if we want to reduce that or increase it. All right, let's plug this thing in. Brielle uh, just sent you a $20 super chat and said, just started my first project this week on my RK bagger using the flake and lime line clear coat. Did you do a restock on clear yet? If not, can you suggest a solution? Everything I have got from you guys just seems to easy, just to, seems so easy to work. Yes, um, that's because we try to make it that way. We found products to do that. 
Um, with the clear, the clear coat will be back in stock next week. Uh, and all the other products will be, um, Sunday or Monday. So yeah, if you want to hang on, if not, I would go with finish line Sherwin Williams. Um, go with that. Still affordable. Any of the 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Yes. So yeah, give that a shot or wait for a week and we can help you out. Who who knows? I I don't want you to wait. Okay. It looks like the problem that I thought with the trigger it's it is it was a little bit sticky it felt like but since we have air pressure going to it it pops right back up so no problem with that let's go ahead and check the needle it looks all pretty much normal as like what an iwata would be like like a neo or something let's, um, check out see what kind of nozzle is in here Before we put paint okay it looks like the nozzle It looks like the nozzle comes out too, so that could be replaced. I highly doubt that they're selling parts for this being such a cheap airbrush. So no. if you if you busted this thing, you would basically just buy another one. You wouldn't buy parts for it. But the nice thing is, is uh, the the whole airbrush is cheaper than probably that one piece. If you if it was an Iwata to repair it, so so far so good. That feels all right. Someone said, like how the cup screws off. Yeah, it screws off. Do I like it? Not necessarily. I don't think uh, I don't think that's necessary, but yeah, maybe. I haven't used it enough. Like we're gonna test it out here, but what what the real ch- the real test will be um, once I use it a few times, things will start to break down in it, and we we'll, that's when we find the problems. Or we might find them early tonight. We'll see. Somebody asked, once mix with the clear base and reduce, what's the shelf life of the, those pigments? Uh, the shelf life of the pigments is going to be, well, it depends on how well they're sealed, uh, to be honest with you. But um, it would be, if they're sealed really good, they're, they're actually good up to five years if, if no air is able to get to them. Um, usually that's not the case. So it all depends on how it's sealed. They would last uh, at least a couple of months. Um, in, in pretty much any container, uh, the, the, the key about the pigments is you don't have to mix up the whole thing. So you just mix up what you need in a cup and then you leave the rest in powder form. So you don't have to really worry about that. What airbrush, uh, compressor are you using? I'm using the Iwata studio. Oh, what's going on here? Did I put did I put uh, paint in here? Swampy said you might want to try to run a little lacquer thinner in there first. Hmm. It's so far. Wait a minute. Hold on. I may have not uh, screwed the. Let's see. Ha. Huh. Okay. <laughs> no wonder. Because I didn't screw the barrel nut back on. Uh, this right here that's what locks in the needle you gotta make sure that needle's all the way forward though all the way forward okay now we'll have a little better luck duh okay oh look at that it's coming out oh, okay you got a re- you got a piece of white paper over there Maybe we can, oh, right here. This will work. Let's check and see how this is coming out. Oh, very nice. I like that. Not too. I'm actually okay with that. In most cases, when I'm doing detail, I would take this cap off right here. But I'm going to leave it on because I really don't want to mess with anything while I'm testing it. I'd rather have all the parts together. But um, when everything's all said and done, I'm going to pull that little cap off. It's still going to function the same. The fact that you can see your needle um, really helps when you're doing detail. Because right here, it's like you're actually a little bit blind. You're shielded behind that cap. But that does protect the needle from getting bent. 
Okay, so far so good. I'm happy with what's going on there. What is going on there? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so first things, I'm going to go ahead and just... Now, understand that we're going to be spraying pigmented pink on top of the white here and we're going to allow the overspray to overspray onto the black um you're going to see the difference between how the pink looks on the white compared to the black it's hardly even going to show up on the black it's going to give us a little bit of a glow and overspray which we want because that's kind of the way that neon lights lights look at nighttime right they, just, they kind of have a glow around them that's my thinking so i could be wrong this might not turn out. I hope it does, but um, we'll just we'll check it out. So what did I put in here? Pink. I'm gonna do the bottom pink right here. Nothing crazy. I'm just gonna put a light coat to start. Someone, um, Mark said, "What's your air filter slash water separator setup?" He it's said, "I have the one in, in the compressor and one in the airbrush, but have issues with water." after about 15 minutes of painting. Yeah, that kind of, it kind of depends on the area and your humidity. Um, it's pretty dry where we're at, so we don't have a whole lot of problems. The only thing I have is the uh, filter, like you said, filter on my compressor and then filter on my um, airbrush, but I don't even, all I have is a filter on my compressor actually. Uh, but yes, the water is one of those things, gets in your lines and can cause some, some problems. You can see that it's just creating just a little bit of an overspray of a glow. Ralph just sent you a twenty dollars super chat. Oh yeah, Rob, Ralph. Yep. Thank you, Ralph. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Someone's asking what a super chat is. Do one of you want to explain that? Uh, super chat. Yeah, it's just a way to support your the creators. Um, it's uh, just put on through YouTube, through the chats. And I don't know, I think you can pay right through your Apple Pay. But 70% goes to the creator, and then YouTube will keep 30% of that as a platform fee. But yeah, they, they definitely help out for sure. And we've been killing it lately. I appreciate you guys. Like a little piece of tape Thanks right Josh there. for telling them where how to do it <clears throat> yeah and well we might as well bring up the next week we'll be doing a custom painted metal flaked candied out dog dish we'll be giving it away so this is next week um we'll be giving it away and all of the super chats will be uh facilitated through youtube and We'll have like, a, I don't know if it's going to be the Humane Society, but it'd be one of those support your homeless cats and dogs kind of a thing. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of raffle that off in the Super Chats. And then and then actually 100% of that goes to the charity. YouTube actually doesn't keep any of that. So pretty cool thing. So tune in next week. You have a chance to win a custom dog dish for your pup. Or your kitty and uh, support the homeless pets of America. All right, that's looking good. Darken this up a little bit. Okay, so far so good. It's looking kind of like neon, but not quite. We're gonna go ahead and um, hit this with a purple. Once we hit this with a purple, we're gonna go back with a white and we're gonna add some highlights. So that's really when this is gonna pop and look good. So let's go ahead and swap out the pink. 
What are you going to do to fix the top of that end? I'll fix it once we're done. Oh, at the end? Yeah. <clears throat> the nice thing about black is we can always fix that later. Or we can fix it now. You want me to fix it now? Do you suggest using using adhesion promoter on your projects? Um, I didn't use adhesion promoter on this, um, but you can. And I do have some, but I don't use it very often, to be honest. Uh, I'll use it on customers' parts when they're plastic or sometimes fiberglass. But I'll never use it on painted parts that I'm over that I'm scuffing up or anything like that or primer. It's up to you. Just use that stuff really sparingly. That's all I can really say. It's, don't apply too much. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. The That in because I want that overspray to work in my favor. Effect if you fix the black later. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm actually. That's what I was saying. That's what you were saying? Yeah. What adhesion promoter do you recommend? <clears throat> uh, I've only used really Bulldog in the past. So I can't vouch really for anything. I've had problems with Bulldog though. So instead of sticking any uh, tape or anything right there, I'm just going to go ahead and I just cut out this piece of the end. I'll line it up with paper. With paper. Okay, there we go. Fixed. That way. I'm sorry, what was that? Spray that way. Black. That was just black paint. Okay, we got some purple. Jeremy asked, what is high solids clear for? Very nice. High solids clear? High solids clear is going to build up thicker. You're going to have, uh, it's, basically it's going to build a thickness to it quicker. Um, although there are some downfalls that it may not lay out quite as nice. Um, but trick to that, you can add usually depending on the brand, 10% reducer, and then that will help the flow. But uh, keep in mind if it usually was something it, you might have to, when you get something, you might have to give a little bit in some other areas. And I think that's kind of what that is. I'm not all that too interested in high solids, clear coat or high build clear coat. Some people call it. Um, yeah, I just use good quality clear. Roman sent you a $10 super chat. Oh, thank you, sir. Be back. Michael Strange Frank said, what do I have to do to get a chance of winning that dog dish from my boy Drip? He's a blue nose pit that I rescued. Oh, really? Cool. Um, all you got to do is come uh, next, be here next Thursday. Not here physically, here <laughs> in YouTube land and um, throw in some super chats to help out the pets and the the, uh, the most I think they will do the most accumulative can I say that word accumulative super chats 
um, would win the, the dog bowl. And then we'll also have some other prizes too. So people aren't going to miss out just cause you, they lost on a super chat. We'll be giving away a uh, tape flake, uh, maybe even a paint gun, maybe even a sander. We're going to be giving a lot of stuff away next week because it is for the pets that we love so much. And yeah, so you, if you don't win the dog dish, then you could win something else. Ralph asks, are you leaving the needle adjustment wide open? The, so I, uh, the needle adjustment wide open, needle adjustment. Uh, yes, this is wide open. Um, I don't restrict how far I can pull back. That's what this thing will do. It's like if you screw that all the way in, it's only going to allow you to pull back so far. Which is kind of nice if you're new, you know. Uh, I don't usually use that because you can, once you do it enough, you can gauge how far your, uh, I mean, I could be here if I want. I could be here if I want. I, if you, if you lack control, I think that's when that particular, uh, adjustment would come in handy. It's because if you just can't like, if you just keep flooding it out, you just can't help. I'm sure it's been so long for me, but I'm sure when I was new, I was just, it was probably hard to do that, to keep it in the middle. So that would stop it. This creates a stopper because the, the farther you pull back, the more fluid you're going to get. Um, so if you're restricting how far that's pulled back, then obviously you're not going to get as much fluid, which is, can be good. Okay. That looks good. We're going to go ahead and mix up some white base coat. Patrick said, I wonder why the live feed was hosted on a Wednesday. And it dawned on me that it really is Thursday. Damn, he said, I need a vacation. <laughs> yeah, said, you and me. I said, me too. I hate when I do that. Swampy said, don't confuse clear coat, clear base coat with 2K clear. That is true. You don't want to confuse that. All right, I have some white base coat mixing up here. We're gonna to wanna to make sure this is over reduced quite a bit. We definitely do not want to spray this paint too thick. You can see it's pretty runny right now. That's kind of what we want. Maybe even a little more reducer. So far, so good on this airbrush, though. Right? I like, yeah. Okay. That might be a little too thick still. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Now we're going to have a little bit of freehand airbrush fun. Free fun. A free fun. I'm going to go ahead and dial down this airbrush a little bit with the dial here. We're going to dial the air down because we want to have more control. Like if you're going to try to get real close to do something, you're not going to want to have like a ton of paint coming out because it's going to go everywhere too fast. You need to slow things down when it comes to detail. Okay, that's looking good. So what I'm doing is I'm aiming for the middle of the line here and I'm still letting it overspray a little bit, but I'm kind of want to put like a, I kind of want to be really bright in the center. So let's see. I'm just adding a highlight to the center of that. Let's see if we can get a closer look here. It 
See how it's just adding that glow to the center? Whoa. It's okay to be a little shaky. We're gonna go over that with pink again, so no worries. AJ asked if you would if you could do a one on one class on a Saturday and then he'll fly home on Sunday. Uh, we will be doing something similar to that coming up, uh, but it's still going to be a couple of months out for sure. But yes, we have been thinking about that. Uh, maybe not a one-on-one. -on -one. It would be more like maybe uh, one on three, something like that. I think so too. I think so too. Patrick asked, what type of paints are you spraying? Uh, I'm spraying, uh, everything's lime line. Uh, even the white base coat, even though it's not out yet, that is uh, everything, the pigments, the black base coat, everything is lime line. Mark said, are you going to have any of the larger hood speed shapes in stock anytime soon? Which ones? Uh, are you going to have any of the larger hood speed shapes in stock? Uh, uh, yeah, we've been out of stock on those for a while. Um, I haven't found somebody to make those yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking to get those maybe back in stock, uh, hopefully soon. Kind of lost my supplier on that one. Patrick asks, are the clear base coats mixed with mica colors or are they pre-mix? I'm sorry, what was that? Are the clear base coats mixed with mica colors or are they pre-mix? Um, the clear base coat, or is it? I guess I don't understand that question. Maybe rephrase that one. Or maybe somebody explain to me what that's saying. Josh said, tried the silver leaf and size glue I won. Great great product came out amazing even for my first attempt we'll definitely be doing more of it thanks again yeah thank you it's awesome that you did it on first try good job yep not too hard you just gotta mm -hmm. be super patient with it make sure that um you're, you know you're rolling your edges down and making sure everything's nice and clean creative one more time sorry go ahead Creative Cuts said, how did you come up with Limeline? Does it symbolize anything? Um, I started out with the tape. And it was just the name for the tape was Limeline. And it just kind of came from there, right? Yep. <laughs> Looking like you turned the lights on. Yeah. All right, well, I'm doing something right. AJ said, I'll take what I can get from the master. Thanks. Please keep us posted. I would love to come to the class. Okay, yes, for sure we will. Brian said, sign me up for that personal class as well. All right, well, there's two. I got a couch here. You can go sleep on the couch. <laughs> it's a futon. Completely missed the answer on the mix or premix thing, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, ask it again because he wasn't sure what you were asking. Um, the yeah, what the the premix? Yeah, so the clear base coat is just that. It's base coat that's clear, and then we mix this powder into the clear base coat, making it a liquid, and then reducing it to make it sprayable. MVP Garage says I'm in two for the classes. Oh, might have to. That's three. That's a full class. Yeah, you guys. I've been telling him to do this. So. Oh yeah, but you know. We we just got to get some things situated, and I'll get we'll get him on it. <clears throat> if 
been wanting to do it for a little bit, so <clears throat> it's coming. All right, back to the pink. I will make the chips from Pennsylvania. Ooh, hey. Patrick said, I thought you were going to do an online situation. I am. Yep. Yeah, somebody just happened to mention that. So, yeah, the online um, the online thing is going to happen. That way we can reach more people. Scott, I'm trying to get, we're trying to go to Pennsylvania in September to the. Oh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah, what's it called? The Groovy? What? Uh, the, the, uh, it, I think the thing's right there. It's the one, the one motorcycle show. Is that what it is? Shoot, I don't even know. this? Glory days. If he's in Pixford, he or if he knows that he's in Pennsylvania, he probably knows. Okay, here's this back. Patrick said, could these techniques be practiced on a pane of glass? Nice, perfectly flat surface to practice on and then can scrape off with the razor blade? Uh, I don't think you're going to get very good adhesion. Um, when you go to pull the tape, you would probably end up pulling, almost, I know for a fact, you would end up pulling um, your edge is all jagged. I'm going to hit this one more time in the center. Patrick said, going to have to host. Going to have to host the family around for classes like Drew Blair traveling around teaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what Drew does? I think he does from out of his house. Land. Scott said, I know that. I just got done with Gettysburg Biking. Oh, hey. Oh, that's cool. Just brighten this up just a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more of a highlight just down right where those bend. A little bit of an outer glow to all this. Just asked, is there a secret to peeling that tape? I can never get my shit 100% clean. Um... Go light coats, light coats of, of paint around the tape. Cause if you try to flood it out and try to paint, I haven't painted this a little too fast. Um, then you're going to bridge over your tape too much. And then it just causes a lot of problems as far as getting a clean edge. So take your time, reduce your paint out more. Um, and you shouldn't, you should have less problems. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give this a really light go. I'm gonna I'm gonna over reduce this quite a bit to where it would pretty much just flood out if I had it um, anywhere close. So I'm gonna keep my distance and reduce this out a little more, and we're gonna give this a nice fade. Um. 
Okay, over reduced. That's not really my thing. I've tried that and I have a really hard time with it because I don't have enough time to practice. Um, I've always worked myself around not having to use a brush. I've always been able to mask and, and do other things in order to, to make my style work um, you know, without a brush. Roman said, how does the trigger feel compared to the Neo? Uh, it actually feels really good. I'm super impressed so far. You see, I'm just kind of letting that, you know, just overspray, kind of create a glow around all of it. There we go. Hit it one more time in the center. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the one that told me. Yeah. One right here. He said I knew you would like it. Yeah. So far. I like it. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, let me get some, um, a little more color back up into this. Once again, I'm going to over reduce the color as well. So I, re I reduced this about another 50%, this pink, and I'm just gonna kinda just dust it over the top. And we'll and then do it over this purple too. We can get away with the pink over the purple. That'll look great. Don't even need to go back to the purple. Okay. Woo. Well, nothing to pull here. Usually we end up pulling the tape by the time we're done, but we painted this one in reverse. A little bit of overspray here. That'll all get cleared up once we clear coat it. But as you can see, I'll just kind of go over what we did. We laid down a masking of neon over the top right here. We used quarter inch tape to create the design just by following, you know, kind of makes it look 3D. Once this thing's cleared, uh, we'll, you'll have a better idea what exactly it's going to look like. We'll have a lot more contrast here. And then we uh, went back and forth with the pigmented color and white base coat, kind of filled up the insides, um, allowed the overspray to work in our favor. And uh, that's it. And the one thing that we were we were doing today was we were testing out this airbrush. And so far, so good. I'm going to need... I would say another three weeks with this bad boy of painting. And then I would let you know what ends up breaking down in this thing. But um, as you can see, I really put it through the test today. But what I'll do is I'll get some lacquer thinner in a spray gun to pop this up, uh, hose it all down and just kind of flush it out and it's good to go. So pretty easy to clean solvent paint. You can even not really recommended, but you could even leave it in overnight if you're going to use the same color the next day. I do it all the time. Probably not the best practice, but you get away with a lot, so it's kind of nice. 
All right, any other questions? No, we're gonna go ahead and close this thing off for the night. A couple questions. So, um, <clears throat> Creative Mike or Creative Cut Media said, is outlining everything in 16th tape kind of your substitution for pinstriping? I know it's not a lot of people do that like you do consistently. Being brand new, I like that style. Um, yes, it is kind of a way to create a pinstripe, um, but it's more of a way to create overlap and to be able to shield your overspray. Um, it's the start to uh, the line, you know, say like we wanted this to be maybe baby blue on both these sides. Well, we would just mask that up and then we'd come back and hit that with blue. And that line would allow us um, you know, that transition there instead of doing a blend. Uh, but yes, it is kind of, kind of like a pinstripe, a little bit easier because you don't, you can always pull tape and try again. Pinstripe's a little harder. And Roman said, once again, what's going on with super chats next week? So, okay. So super chats next week, we'll be doing a, it's like a double, uh, dish, a uh, dog bowl. Um, we'll be giving that away um to the i think we're going to do it to the highest com community i'm gonna have to learn how to say that by next week communalitive <laughs> i'm not even sure i'm going to find a different word uh the most super chats they're going to end up winning the bowl i'll even put their dog's name in it um it won't be on the live but i'll put it on i'll leave a spot and i'll put it on and we'll uh, include it in the following video. So yeah, you you have a chance to win the dog bowl for your dog, and we will be um, YouTube uh, will be set up to where YouTube will be donating a hundred percent of the proceeds to a uh, particular foundation. I'm not sure if it's going to be the Humane Society or if it'll be. Uh, I haven't looked through the list yet, but it will be for pets, obviously. Um, so you'll get that. It will also be given away um, uh, at minimum a paint gun. Uh, a sander, we'll be doing some polisher, uh, a polisher, um, and a bunch of other stuff. I'll go to the warehouse and check out, see what we got. And we'll be giving some stuff away to um, whoever else is maybe second or third. So you don't miss out on the dog bowl and, and lose out on that money. You'll, you'll be getting other great prizes too. So uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys there next week because it'll be exciting. Roman just sent you a $10 super chat. Again? Whoa. Roman. Thank you so much, sir. Roman says, thank you. Great review. Looks good. Looks like we got lights. <clears throat> yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, so join us next Thursday, guys, for a fun live and a charitable thing to the pets. Yep. Shop dogs. We all love shop dogs. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, at least like button. Or if you don't want to do nothing, that's fine, too. Just thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks, guys. We'll see you next Thursday. Later.